Hey, Selvin, my name is Paul. I work with Schenectady SEO. You talked to Nathan yesterday about a free video that is going to show you some tips on how to improve your online presence. Uh, this is going to be that video. I'm going to go over three important things, which are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I have your website pulled up right here, um, right off the bat. It's a good website. Um, you know, you have some good pictures. You have some, you know, you have a really nice logo. I really like the, this logo. Uh, it's very well put together. You have a video down here. It looks like connected to your YouTube. Uh, the only thing I would say, you do have a free quote button here. I would say if you could get a form like right up at the top where people can just see that and fill it out and also your phone number up here at the top as well with a click to call so people can click that and immediately just go you know right to your phone um, also i will say uh, content is the first thing we're going to go over uh, you guys are lacking in content um, content is important because google loves content they want to see at least 1500 words of content on your home page um, and the reason for that is they're looking for keywords. They're going to crawl all your text on your website. Um, they're going to look for those keywords. So a keyword is going to be anything that is someone's going to put into Google and, you know, while they're searching for a service or a product, right? Um, that's going to help them find you. So you want to get buyer intent keywords. Uh, you want to get keywords that are relevant to your services uh your service areas what you offer all that stuff you want to try and put into that content on your home page and that way when google crawls your site they're going to catch all those keywords um, and that's going to tell them that you are in fact you know an authority an expert in your field of work it's going to help uh it's going to help you guys be found in more searches on Google, which is going to help your website show up on, uh, you know, that top of the front page, a uh, number one spot in the Google search results. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go into a Google search right now. I did a home remodel in Hempstead, New York. Uh, that would be an example of a keyword. Um, so the first thing you're going to see as we go down the list here are ads. So ads are going to be a great way to get customers uh, to get to your website. Um, there are a lot of ways to get in front of customers. Um, ads are definitely one of those ways. If you can run a good ad campaign, that is going to help you out uh, a lot in being found. After that, as we go down, we're going to see this. A very important part right here is this uh, map pack. So this is going to be the top three in the map pack right here. Um, and being up here is very beneficial for a business. Uh, a lot of times these businesses will end up getting, you know, 35, 36% of the traffic that comes through uh, solely because they're in this top three right here because, you know, people search for a product or a service. Um, they already have a good idea of what they want. They see this map pack right here and they, they're, that's as far as they need to go. Um, and they will click on one of these guys, you know, preferably you want to be in this number one spot. So the way to do that is going to be with citations. Um, you want to have your Google business profile filled out as uh, as much and as accurately as possible with all of your business information. Um, get your business name, your phone number, uh, get your pictures in there. Um, address, if you have your address um, on your Google business profile, you know, all that stuff filled out as much as possible. And then you want to go out and put all that information into uh, online directories. So online directories are going to be anything like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie's List, you know, anything like that. There are literally hundreds of um, online directories that you can get your Google business profile information, you know, put into. Um, and so basically the idea here is to beat your competition in citations, right? So let's say these guys have like a hundred, you want to try and get, you know, 150, 200, blow them out of the water. So that way, you know, you, you have more chances of ending up in this top three right here. So after that, we have your organic search results, right? Um, so as we go down, it looks like we have Angie's List, Yelp. These are all, you know, uh, online directories, right? Not too concerned about 
those. You want to try and outbeat your your direct competition. Um, so this would be this renovations in Hempstead. Uh, this is actually it looks like a service page. Um, so they it looks like they're being shown for just their service page. So this is not even their main page, which is another example of you know content. So if you have the right content on any of your back pages, um, you can actually. Uh, you show up in search results as well, depending on the area that you are targeting. So if we take a look, you know, they have a pretty decent little page here. Let's take a look at their main page on the website. Nice big picture in the back. Um, it looks like they have some content on here. It definitely doesn't look like they have 1500 words. So if you were to go ahead and, you know, get 1500 words of keyword rich content on your homepage, you would already be, you know, outbeating them in that. Um, so if we take a look at AREFs, which is a tool I use the, that tells me how a website's performing, um, and we're going to look at you guys right here. And if we look at the overview, you're going to look at this UR and DR right at the top here. And right now, um, it's not showing any data. So a UR and DR is basically a uh, trust and a power rating um, um, how Google views your website. So the UR is going to be your trust rating. DR is going to be a power rating um, right now. No data and you have zero. So the idea is to get these two numbers um, ranked up as high as possible with, while also being in close ratio to each other. So that has a lot to do with your backlink profile. Um, it looks like you have three referring domains bringing you 516 backlinks. So a backlink is going to, you know, basically be a link that's pointing back to your, your website from another website or an outside website, maybe a, you know, a comment blog or something like that. So the idea is, you know, if somebody has a comment, you have your link on a comment blog, someone's talking about you guys, Hey, you know, these guys do a great job job check them out here's the link and somebody clicks the link goes back to your website right so the idea is to get uh quality and powerful backlinks um that way it's going to help boost up these numbers um it's going to help google see you as an authority figure in that service area or um the, you know the business that you guys do and the idea here is to get quality backlinks. And by that, I mean uh, backlinks from either websites or comment blogs that are relevant to your services or your business or your industry. You know, you don't want something that has to do with food or like clothing design or something like that. Linking back to your website, uh, Google will see that as spammy on um, that could potentially hurt you guys. Um, as we can see here, also, you are not being shown for any organic keywords. So that would be why I stress the uh, 1500 words of content on your homepage. Uh, if we take a look at the Gotham builders that I was looking at earlier, we can see they are being found for 468 organic keywords. Um, they have 182 referring domains, giving them 695 backlinks. Um, so just an example of, you know, how much more traffic you can get from being found with keywords. So to go over everything real quick is going to be your 1500 words of content on your homepage. Uh, try and get as many relevant keywords into that content as you can. That will help you be found uh, in the Google search results. Uh, you'll start showing up for more um, searches. You'll start showing up in that front page of Google and, and beating out your competition with your Google business profile. You want to get that filled out as much as possible. Um, try and get into as many online directories as possible. And then with your backlinks, try and get quality backlinks from relevant uh, you know, domains that have to do with your service industry. So with that being said, uh, I hope you found this video uh, helpful. It's definitely some stuff that you guys could implement yourself. Um, and if you're looking for more information, feel free to reach out. Our contact information will be uh, in the email that we send. And 
Thank you for checking out this video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.